time, my lady Georgia. Mr. Whiteside, I can only be in one place at a time. That is very fortunate for this community. Good morning, Mr. Whiteside. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Joanne. Are you ready for your breakfast, Mr. Whiteside? No, I don't think I want any breakfast this morning. Tell me, is Miss Cutler her girl? Yes, she is. Shall I call her? No. You're doing nothing of the kind. Here are your keys. Driver's license. Key to the safe deposit vault is in the apartment in New York. I'll let you right now if it comes up. Just one moment, Mr. Simmons. Where were you until 3 o'clock this morning? I see that half the night in this station wagon worrying about you. You heard me call you when you came in. Why didn't you answer me? Look, Sherry, it's over and you won. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come, come, come. What are you trying to do? Make me feel like a naughty, naughty boy. Honestly, Maggie, sometimes you can be so annoying. You know, you're quite wonderful, Whiteside. In a way. You're annoyed. I wish there was a laugh left in me. Can I tell you something, Jerry? I think you're a selfish, petty, egomaniac who would see his mother burn out of the state if it was the only way he could let his cigarette. I think you'd sacrifice your best friend without any moments of occasion. I think you are incapable of anything that goes higher up than you're stuck. Now pull over everything if you trust you. Well, well, as long as I live, I shall never do anyone a kindness again. I won't ask you to apologize, Maggie, because in six months you'll be thanking me instead of berating me. In six months, Jerry, I expect to be so far away from you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Oh, well, I would like to explain. Listen, Maggie, Miss Sheldon thinks the play is wonderful. I read her the play and she thinks it's wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it's fine, sir. Isn't that wonderful, Mr. Whiteside? I think you ought to go home, Bert, don't you? What? No, the biggest day of my life. I'm a little drunk, but this is our big day. We've been sitting in Billy's Tower all night. Never knew it was daylight till it was daylight. This is Maggie. Miss Sheldon says the play needs a little, little fixing up. Do it in two to three weeks. She's going to take me to a place she got Lake Placid just for three weeks. Isn't that wonderful? Why don't you say something, Maggie? Now look here, Bert. I think you should go on home and tell us all about this later. Uh, excuse me. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. God bless us all. Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whiteside, I thought that perhaps if I came very, you know, very early. I'm going to Lake Placid for three weeks. Ever heard of the famous actress Lorraine Sheldon? She's taking me to a place she got in Lake Placid for three weeks. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, yes, of course, Jefferson. Actually, Doctor, I have a small favor to ask. I think Jefferson would like some black coffee and a little breakfast. Would you take care of him, please? You know what, Doc? I'm about breakfast for you. Biggest breakfast you've ever had. Yes, yes, Jefferson. You know what, Doctor? Let's find out a couple of chimneys. I guess Randy doesn't believe in samples. Let's find out his chimney is going to hell on them. <laughs> now look here, man. I'm willing to forgive your tawdry outburst and talk about this call. I love him so terribly. Jerry, Jerry, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Goodbye. What is there about that woman? Uh, you're a fabulous 
surprise for you, Mr. Whiteside. She's just taking it out of the oven. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> Miss Green! Miss Green! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Answer the door, will you? Joanne's upstairs. Quite mad. Made it for you. 
Banjo, go on and talk to Maggie, will you? Right in there. I need to think. Say, I got it! If I knew where Lorraine was, I could get a car and run her over. No. It wouldn't hurt her much. No, Banjo. Please, I need to think. Pardon me, Miss. Is this the YMCA? <laughs> That's your problem? No, you idiot! Hello, Mr. Whiteside. I didn't get very far. Any suggestions? I'm sorry, Richard. If only I were in a position. Well, you're not in a position. Thank you, sir. There's a little something for your troubles. Thank you. Good day, sir. Richard, could you wait upstairs, please? Oh, I've written a new chapter. 
Alexander on the left did be. Don't 
are you, rat girl, and do as you're told. Yes, Mr. Renza. Maggie, for God's sake, what's going on? I didn't know you were walking. Where's he going? 